All right, folks, the deck is Reno Galakron Shaman. The goal of the deck is to play high value battle cries in the early game, including those that generate and invoke Galakron, get to the Galakron, repeat those battle cries with Shutterwalk towards the end of the game to lock the board, lock the opponent's spells, and uh, win the game. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash raffle. Watch this! Get ourselves a paladin. I think Dungeoneer is usually just a keep, right? It's such a good card in the early game for getting my draw going. Dirty Rat. Maybe helpful. Um, like if it's just Taxes or Aggro Paladin, which is pretty common right now, it's uh, honestly not bad. Yeah, we might have an exclamation point rat situation here. Nope. Oh, Watch Post is probably better. Break it, you this gives us a little bit more time to see what we're up against. Okay, looks like hand buff. Nature waits for no one but me. Good hits. Break it, you buy it. And uh yeah, we just increased the cost of a lot of those cards. Uh, really, it's not too heavy. Uh, might just rip the dirty rat this turn, where I could slog him. I don't really have great follow ups either way. No, Let's just do this. Like the the payoff for the dirty rat would be either hitting something and immediately killing it with like a Zephyrus, or like hitting something that would give um, hand buffs, like a glowstone technician in particular. Works too. And maybe get a heal totem here. Gronk totem's not bad either. How do you think Reno Shaman is right now? Um, I think it's okay. Depends on how you build it uh, and what you play against. I think um, the more you queue into Odd Hunter, I'm sure the worse it gets. They happen, you know? But I think it seems reasonable into Pirate Warrior. Also, this uh, Bar Watch post has been on the board for quite some time, hasn't it? It's a good draw because that's my first Galakron invokes. Because I'm a Reno deck, I have fewer of those, so. Might just be Kronk's next turn to keep drawing. Keep pace with the opponent. Uh, we still got the Zeph in hand for a big board clear. Welcome, Harbor. Uh, I was kind of hoping they didn't have that since I missed it on the... Uh... It's lethal, right? 13 on board plus uh, bloodlust is lethal. What you wish is my suggestion. Easy. Five attack watch post. Feels good, man. Is it ever worth it to Blood Knight there? I mean, the play I did made my opponent concede, so... <laughs> um, I mean, I think that was probably a, just a fine play. Regardless, I don't think Blood Knight... ...matters that much. I don't think... I think all of my plays were very good, and any of them were game winning. Break it, you it's Ignite Mage, I need the watch post to somehow stick for a bit. Never mind. <laughs> now I need to find Lothab. And or dirty rats, but dirty rat alone isn't really going to get me all that much. Break it, you buy it. What does this give here? 
Just go here. Here. Let's just plop our boner on the table for all to see. Zap into flare. Zap into double flare. Your wish is my suggestion. Thank you. <laughs> we did get double flare. Tempo Bolner? Yeah, Tempo Bolner. Best Bolner. Alright. Well, that was a pretty good, uh, pretty good Zeph. Okay. Let's go here to draw towards... Ooh. And I hit the low thub. <laughs> okay. Break it, you buy it. Uh, that's one apprentice down, but they still have a um, elemental in hand. So, but they do draw one fewer spell at least. So maybe something. I don't think now is the turn for the slogger, or rather the Lotheb, because they're unlikely to be able to combo here, right? Because we slowed them down so much with that play. Still possible to OTK? I'm aware. I'm aware. But I don't need to rush out the, uh, the Lotheb when they haven't drawn... They haven't played a Witchwood Piper yet, right? So it's not that likely they have the second apprentice, which they need at least one apprentice. They need exactly one apprentice, so I need to apply more pressure before I set the uh, the low thub, I think. These are due back tomorrow. Fine. They have so few cards in hand, too, that they can't really have many good starter spells at this stage. I think it's got to be uh, Slogger this turn, Lotheb next turn. And then that way we can follow the Lotheb with the Shudder, right? There are two top decks that would be better to... Uh, that would make playing the Lotheb now better. Brilliant Macaw and um, Zola. I'm not going to Hero Power here. Because it just clogs my board. Greedy? I don't think it's greedy. I think it's just like... I think it's just the right play here. I wouldn't have hit. I don't need this to set up lethal, but... Love it. Huh. Incredible. Oh, there's the Zola. Just add a little insult to injury there. Um, need card draw early, I think, and like Galakrond invokes. Probably don't need Dirty Rat. The whole. Does it now? Greetings, okay, so probably main lock. Nope. That's All right incredible. then. I'm gonna go for a wild growth here. Ruffle, how do you determine which portrait you use for each deck? Um. So what I do is. 
forget that I have multiple tur portraits entirely, and then just leave whatever one happens to be selected at my as my favorite at the a given time, and um, think about it very little, to be honest. Cosmetics general, like I would just like a random hero option. Cosmetics generally aren't like a thing that I spend a lot of thought on. Come close and listen. The synergy chat. I really want to bolner this chat. You know what I mean? You ever just feel like you need a bolner? I'm just going to hit him with the rat because it's fun. Actually pretty good. Okay. Your time is at its end. I mean, you say that, but I don't see it. Oh. Okay. Like, I'm just going to have two cards completely invoke my garlic run here. What's better than that? Look at the size of this bolner. Seems kind of risky, doesn't it? <laughs> Why is that bolner so big? I mean, it was just, it was just made that way. I guess I could have traded into that to protect the bolner, but like, I don't know. I'm kind of scared of, I guess Rogue doesn't have many big stuff, right? Crazy how a better brand doesn't see play in standard. I mean, it does. Also, it's not like strictly better, is it? There are situations where you might want to double up more than just the first battle cry you play in a turn. Oh my god! Well, that's what I was afraid of happening. Alright. <laughs> Gonna go ahead and ignore that for a bit. Also, I think Bolner does see some play in Standard, doesn't he? Like, he's good in an Elemental Shaman. Probably... Has some use cases now with, uh... An aggro shaman with a Drek'thar, maybe? I don't know. No, that's probably too cute. You would make a fine disciple. I'm one damage off. If only I had a Murloc. Wow, they have a lot of sh They became Shuffle Rogue. Playing, uh, renounce here. I was too slow. Keep the watch post. Armor, armor, lightly use armor. Okay. 
Good god. Uh, what? Am I just gonna rip an alignment next turn? Over 9,000 Saiyan. Thank you for the five gifted subs. Need to find it. No, I'm just going to Flurgle Tox that. I don't want a hero power here. Because that's going to leave me board locked. Hey, thanks, Wrench Toast. This is pretty limiting for their draw, isn't it? This is not what we stood for. I guess it matters a little bit less if they have um, Anaconda in hand. Or that. Ugh. Uh, there. Now we need to start chaining Lothubs, and even then it's probably not enough. It's not Lothub, so let's draw. I hope you like my invention. Well, I'm in trouble. And also dead? Most likely. The watch post still changed the cost of the cards? Um, I don't think so. I think it was dead by the time they drew. Yeah, that was a... Uh, that was a card drawn off of uh, UI. Because the order is deal 5 damage, then you draw 5 cards, then you gain the 5 armor. Really needed one extra spot on board here, but... Oh! No, I need... Okay, no, this is fine. Oh, if you're sure. Kind of similar situation here, right? We just need to find Macaw, Lothab, and uh, early game to apply some amount of pressure. Job done. Probably just need to rush some mana here. Wait, you're right, it's not odd. Wait. And they mulligan the leftmost card. I'm still gonna get some mana here. Secret Hunter. In this economy? Pressure plate. I wonder if it's uh, Vandar, big beast hunter. This is Drek Hunter I faced it yesterday. Oh yeah, Drek Secret Hunter. God, feels so bad not to have chosen Drekthar right now. I just want to play him. Definitely not Drek'thar Hunter. Chat has led me astray once again. Oh, 
future waits for no one but me. Such a power. I have no time for games. I think it is actually just Vandar Hunter. I think I was right. Evolve, maybe? Nice. Do I need to devolve this? Yeah, probably. Have some threats. No, which in wild witch deck is best right now? Uh, questline warrior, then Reno, even warrior or warlock, then uh, questline hunter. You could probably throw, um, I mean, Reno lock, Reno even lock, and um, like dark glareless, dark glare lock all have very similar matchup spreads, but close to it. Apparently, Ignite Mage is uh, increasing in popularity, as well as Shadow Priest at, uh, as some of the good decks. I kind of want this off the board before it starts uh, doing things, but at the same time, like, this is too clean and it prevents the trade there. I've got the Shutter and the Macaw. I might need to dodge, like, a Mutanus and a... Uh, I guess I've got the lurker if they do summon stuff. I am ready to learn. The best version of Celestial Druid right now? Um, I have no idea. I think Tog has been increasing in popularity. I think Tog or um, Gathun maybe. But you also kind of want things that like end the game quickly. The hey yo! I was right. Now give you, me all your money. I think that's how this works, right? Um, I've played a chain gang, right? What haven't I played? No littering. Pawn like, can't I just start chaining shutterwalks? No time for games. Maybe not immediately, but... Yeah, immediately. Why not? My jaws that bite. My claws that My jaws that bite. My claws that catch. Now you can just start cycling the macaws once my board is empty. Life and hope. Oh, it's Vandar Reno Hunter. That's kind of cute. It says, repeat the last battle cry you played. So I don't want to repeat it on Jaraxxus. Shutter doesn't repeat Macaw, right? Uh, well, Macaw repeats Shutter. I believe it, if you play the um, Macaw first, Shudder or Macaw or Shudder on the Macaw repeats the last battle cry. I don't know. Just rip this band-aid off, I guess. Ouch. Opponent's deck pretty sweet, though. Is there a way to consistently tutor the uh, Bandar like there is in Paladin? It doesn't seem like it, right? Hey, welcome, Teddy.
How many different heroes can I swap to this game? <laughs> uh, I think they're just kind of dead though on board, right? Because I just get another weapon from the... Uh... Eh? Tracking. Yeah, you could run Master's Call as well, but you're running a lot of, um, or you could run Stitch Tracker. No, you couldn't run Stitch Tracker. You could run Master's Call gonna be rich. Um, as a semi-reliable way to get there. Scabs into Vandar reduces the cost of your two and three cost minions in your deck. Yeah, but the, like, that's so unreliable because you have to draw Scabs and Vandar at the same time in order for one of them to be online. Like, it's... I don't think that that's a consistent game plan with a payoff that, like, is kind of small. You want to play your two and three costs before the Vandar, and then also you don't want to, like, yeah, just, like, it doesn't make sense as a thing to do, in my opinion. Maybe I'm way off base here or something, but I don't see it. Okay, so they are running Tonks. Just trying to clear hand for the Shudder. Paladin seems like the class that can have the most reliable time to tutor Vandar. Yeah, just because, like, Call to Adventure exists and it fits perfectly with what that deck's doing. But, like, if you're playing an aggressive rogue deck that's running twos and threes, I don't want to be closing the game out by turn four when Vandar can come down and you're not, again, going to consistently draw scabs and Vandar at the same time. They're going to be sticking in your hand for a period of time as a result of, like, having to wait to play both of them. Am I losing this game? What's going on here? Yikes. I mean, is Reno e alone even good enough here, or do I need to Shutter Walk? I think it's Shutter. I'm gonna get this back from the, uh... Yeah, I just repeated the uh, previous battle cry here. Silence isn't bad here. Alright. Draxus next turn if I don't kill them. Don't get the 8-3, please. Oh, that might have been the worst one. Feels bad for the opponent here. I have no time oh. for games. 27, they're at 29. Wait, will I be able to attack again with the uh, Jaraxxus weapon? Because I changed heroes? No? I mean, I'm probably just meant to play the Jaraxxus anyway, right? No, they changed that? Okay, so it did work that way at one point. That's good to know. Wow! <laughs> How are they so bad at Sylvanas? Like 
attention. Bleh. None can withstand the tempest. <laughs> The payoff of Scabs Vander would probably be the new Edwin, so you have another <laughs> you have another four mana card that you need to draw before that's active. Like <laughs> You're not selling me on this. Well, at least they got the second worst one this time. Just draw your entire deck, then Vandar is good. Yeah, exactly. That's that's what I'm getting from this. All right, lethal on board. Sweet deck from the opponent, though. I'm gonna have to try something similar soon. Make use of my Vandar. There's probably a Nazoth and like double Nazoth in that deck. Feels sweet. Thank you to legendary patrons Brian Wynn, Fizzle Jizzix, Gian Rusi, HS Battlefly, Jeffrey Pierce, Justice Crater, Korback, Nogglesher, Nate Grex, St. Arthur, Shadow1TV, Sognisman, and Fanfix.